Hello all, this video is on working with SIM808, an all-in-one module with the GSM, GPRF, GPS and Bluetooth. The module has got provision for two antennas, one for uh, GSM and the other for GPS. On the back side uh, there is a SIM slot where a valid SIM can be inserted. RS232 provision is uh, there with the MAX232 IC and uh, TTL pins are extended, TX, RX and ground uh, for easy connection with the Arduino. An external power adapter is required of uh, 12 volt 1.5 or 2 amps. Once the power is uh, provided, watch out for the network LED. Initially it will blink uh, fast and once it gets network, it will blink once per second. This is the GPS uh, patch antenna, magnetic patch antenna that should be connected to the uh, GPS antenna socket. The other socket is for a GSM antenna. Do not interchange this uh, antenna positions, otherwise you will not get the result. Uh, now let us connect the uh, Arduino with the SIM808. The connections are uh, simple, only three wires are required. Ground is connected to ground and TX of Arduino goes to RX of uh, SIM808. RX of uh, Arduino goes to TX of uh, SIM808. Uh, here we are not using the uh, hardware serial, we are using software serial in the code. So pin 7 and 8 are declared as uh, RX and TX. Soft serial uh, uh, RX is 7, soft serial uh, TX is uh, 8. Accordingly the connections are made between SIM808 and Arduino. Now plug in the USB cable to of Arduino to PC. Under device manager, you will see a COM port uh, alerted to the Arduino Uno port. Uh, let us use a, a RS232 to USB cable to monitor the SIM808 terminal. This RS232 to USB cable uh, can be connected to the RS232 port, port of SIM808. And the AT commands uh, that is sent from the Arduino Uno can be monitored on this terminal. And before uploading any code to you know you can uh, send AT commands through this uh, terminal to test the SIM808 module. Now open the device manager and uh, see for the two COM ports allotted. One is for the Arduino you know and the other one is for the RS232 to USB cable. Let us use a putty terminal uh, to control this uh, RS232 to USB terminal. Open the PuTTY terminal, select the uh, COM port as the RS232 to USB port that is seen in the device manager. Set the baud rate to 9600 and then open the terminal. If you type in AT, the SIM808 will respond with the OK. ATD command dials a number and ATH hangs the call. To send SMS, you set the uh, text mode using AT plus CMGF equal to 1 and the AT plus CMGS equal to phone number after that you get a greater than symbol and then you type in the message and uh, uh, type control Z to send the SMS all these uh, GSM related commands are uh, similar to the ones of the SIM 800 or SIM 900 uh, if you get empty uh, empty message then uh, use this parameter AT plus uh, CSMP this parameter has to be set uh, if you get blank SMS. Uh, this CSMP has to be set before uh, you make it as a text mode. Now let us see the uh, GPS related commands. These commands are similar to SIM 908 and the SIM 808. AT plus C GPS PWR equal to 1. Uh, makes the GPS engine on that is it uh, gives power to the GPS and makes the GPS on a AT plus C GPS RST equal to 0 it gives a cold start to GPS and AT plus C GPS uh, uh, status and a question mark uh, will return the status of the uh, GPS of SIM 808 whether it has got a fix or not now you have not got a fix 
to get a fix you have to issue the command at plus c gps inf equal to zero this returns a single nmea sentence this nmea sentences uh, uh, has got the latitude longitude time uh, altitude and other data to get a single uh, gp rmc sentence you give this command at plus c gps inf equal to 32 this returns a single gp rmc sentence now if you issue the status uh, at plus c gps status question mark uh, sim 808 will uh, say that it has got a fix for gps 3d fix AT plus C GPS out equal to 32 will output the RMC sentence uh, to the serial monitor. To stop scrolling of this uh, output, type in AT plus C GPS out equal to 0. They'll, this will stop the scrolling and the AT, will, uh, AT command will return back OK. SIM 808 has got GNSS receivers and some commands are specific to GNSS uh, receivers. Let us see this uh, GPS commands that is specific to SIM 808 only. AT plus C GNS PWR equal to 1 uh, will make the GPS engine on and gives uh, that is turns on power to GNSS uh, receiver. AT plus CGNS SEQ equal to RMC in double quotes will set the navigation information to GP RMC sentences. Now if you issue AT plus CGNS INF command, uh, it will re return the single RMC sentence which has got the time, latitude, longitude, altitude and other data. These CGNS commands are specific to SIM 808 only. Now let us see a practical example uh, by which uh, Arduino, from Arduino you know you will be sending AT commands and retrieve, retrieve the GPS uh, latitude longitude and send it as SMS appending to Google Maps. This is the code to be uploaded. Uh, we include soft, uh, software serial.h uh, library and declare uh, a sim808 object with uh, rx pin 7 and uh, tx pin 8 a phone number is uh, allotted to char variable and these are the other variable declarations under void setup uh, we begin sim808.begin at uh, 9600 baud this is the software serial and as well as uh, hardware serial uh, serial.begin is also started at 9600 baud. Uh, sim 808.print uh, will just uh, send the AT command directly to the sim 808 that is AT plus C SMP is to avoid any uh, blank SMS delivery. This has to be set before AT plus CMGF equal to 1 that is uh, before setting it to text mode we have to issue this command. We call a function send data uh, with the parameters uh, at command, the timeout uh, that is one second, and then the debug information, boolean information. Here it is true. These three parameters are uh, uh, sent, and under uh, send data function, uh, we print the uh, command at command and get the result. We wait for some time, and then. Uh, uh, we wait for the serial data and assign it to char variable and finally the response uh, uh, is sent back. Same way we send the uh, second command AT plus uh, CGMS SCQ equal to uh, RMC in double quotes so that we get back uh, uh, single RMC sentence as response. Under void loop, we use another function send tab data uh, with three parameters at command, uh, the timeout, and the debug information true or false. 
once we get the response uh, from this uh, send tab data function we use serial dot print to print the state uh, time latitude and longitude these are printed on the arduino serial monitor and uh, is only for uh, uh, debug purpose the actual at command is sent using sim 808.print uh, for sending sms first uh, we use at plus cmgs and assign the phone number and then we use the latitude and longitude data and append it to maps.google.com link and uh, finally control z to send the uh, sms as a google uh, uh, maps link and after a delay of 20 seconds uh, the sim 808 flush command will clear uh, the serial data and uh, fresh GPS uh, data is acquired. Now upload this code. Click on upload and then open the serial monitor of Arduino. This serial monitor is uh, only for debug purpose. Uh, the latitude longitude uh, data is printed on this Arduino serial monitor. monitor. The actual AT commands uh, sent from the Arduino to uh, SIM808 module is seen on the uh, putty screen uh, uh, which is seen on the left side of the screen. The actual AT, AT commands uh, will land one by one and then you can see the result on the putty terminal. First the AT plus CGNS power equal to 1 command is sent and then AT plus CGNS SEQ equal to RMC is set and the AT plus CGNS INF will return the uh, NMEA sentence. And finally the google.map uh, link is appended to uh, latitude longitude data and sent as SMS. If you check up your the mobile uh, for the message you can see the uh, latitude longitude with the uh, maps.google.com link if you touch on the sms uh, you can see the location google maps location here my location is exactly uh, shown so every 20 seconds you will get a message thank you for watching